Hi guys, how are you? Today I am going to discuss one important named reaction called the Von Braun reaction. Von Braun reaction. So in this reaction, what happens? We will discuss in this video the general reaction mechanism, some examples, and the previous year question from different exam on this topic. So in this reaction, what happens? A tertiary amine. Let's say uh, this a tertiary amine is treated with cyanogen bromide, that is CnBr, and uh, what will happen? A simple acyl two reaction will take place. Then plus. Br minus. Now this Br minus will attack in one of these three alkyl groups, and an alkyl bromide will be formed. Plus substituted cyanamide will be formed. This is the general reaction as well as the mechanism. Now we'll get uh, some examples. So first, uh, this is an SN1, SN2 type reaction, and also this is an SN2, or sometimes it's become the SN1 type reaction. Now we'll get some example. Let's say one of these substrate. CF3. Now, if it is treated with CnBr, then what will be the product? What cyanamide will be formed? And uh, here, first the Br will leave. So, Cn two methyl groups are there. Plus Br minus, and here one triflate group is here. Now this is a strong electron withdrawing group. So the Br minus may attack in this uh, between these two methyl groups, or in this carbon. Now where we have to see where the transition state will be more stable as this is positive charge so in this uh, if this leaving group will leave then the positive charge will be either here or if uh, it will leave from this carbon then the positive charge will be on this carbon now between these uh, two positive charge in which where the positive charge is more stable here as the strong electron withdrawing group is there so if the positive charge generated here that will be less stable than this so br minus will preferentially attack into this methyl group and this bond will cleave so the product will be n cn ch3 plus ch3 br and here the this group so that will be the product now we'll get another example like this co2 me one ester group here also one ester group now if uh, this is treated with brcn and in thf then what will be the product so first here the nucleophile attack at this center will take place and a tertiary amine will be formed and after that we have to decide in which center the 
attack of br minus will take place now here as you can see that three non equivalent centers are there at this carbon it may take place or at this carbon it may happen or in this carbon it may happen now as this is an sp2 hybridized carbon so nucleophilic substitution generally uh, will not happen here so two options are there now between these two we have to see where the positive charge is more stable if here the cn group will be there now if this bond will cleave then the positive charge will come here and if this bond will cleave the positive charge will be here now between these two positive charge as two electrons during groups are attached into this carbon so here the positive charge will be less stable so this bond will not cleave only this bond will cleave and br minus will preferentially attack into this carbon so the product will be here the nitrogen and 1 2 3 here the br will attack and it will be an isopropyl bromide group and this group will be here so this will be the product and we will take another example let's say if this is treated with brcn then what will be the product here this is a tertiary amine so sn2 reaction take place and then cn me here is a methyl group phenyl otbs plus now br minus will attack here three non equivalent carbons are there and there it may attack into this methyl or into this carbon or into this carbon now we have to see where the positive charge is most stable if this bond is cleave a methyl carbocation will generate if this bond will cleave here a 2 degree carbocation will generate where this carbocation will be stabilized by methyl group as well as this alkyl group and if uh, this bond is cleave then there will be a benzyl carbocation which will be stabilized by the phenyl group so between these three carbocation we can say that this uh, carbocation will be more stable so br minus will preferentially attack into this carbon and this bond will cleave so the corresponding product will be formed that will be an cn me here will be br ph now br will attack uh, from below the uh, from above the plane here hydrogen is above the plane so br hydrogen phenyl OTBS here is the methyl group so that will be the product now we will discuss uh, the question came in UCCS and at uh, June, June 2014 this is an amide if uh, now here uh, we will have to use we have to select and reducing agent which will reduce this amide into this agitidine this is an agitidine that is cyclic amine so this amide is going to reduced into this agitidine so what reducing agent we have to choose now as you can see that uh, lithium aluminum hydride is a good reducing agent that will reduce the amide into an amine 
whereas NABH4 we cannot use because that is a weak reducing agent as the carbonyl group here <coughs> the nitrogen uh, the lone pair is conjugated into this uh, carbonyl group so here the electrophilic character is very less and Li uh, lithium uh, NABH4 is a weak reducing agent so this cannot be applied here so lithium aluminum hydride we have to use to reduce the amide into this agitidine now if this agitidine is treated with BRCN then what will be the product so first the this will be formed and after that the Br- will attack here two centers are there uh, this methyl group and this center now if the positive charge is here the methyl carbocation will be formed and if uh, this bond cleave then a, two, a one degree carbocation will be formed as one degree carbocation is more stable than the methyl carbocation so br minus will potentially attack into this carbon and this bond will cleave so the product will be one two three n me cn so this will be the product so guys if you have any doubt regarding this video please let me know in comment box and to get such interesting videos subscribe my channel thank you have a good day